Welcome to the group grade definition. Uh, as you see when I opened the grading dialog box before it was all white uh, so it's difficult to see what the groupings were when you had especially three groups uh, like I'm going to put in here now so I'm going to type in three and then when I click enter you'll see split into three groups colorified so you can see exactly what you're doing and the cyan color is the active group you can change that by clicking on the relative group number so now you've got the, this inactive if you hold the control key down um, you can click and turn on and off which one you want and also using the shift key held down you can move what grouping you want those sizes to be grouped to and a double click as normal will give you a model size and you can change uh, while you're in one group for example this group you can change to another group take out a size holding the control key down and then adding it in to another group holding the control key down so you've got a different grouping all together this does apply to all fittings so with fittings on um, you can do the same thing so I'm going to add now uh, three fittings A, B and C so I'm going to insert a fitting for A and then insert for B and C so we've got B and C so we've got A then we'll have a B fitting and then we'll have a C fitting and what you can do here is actually separate the groupings so you can now for example holding the control key down clicking on the ones to colour in which are the active ones and they're going to be in that grouping with those fittings change to the second group you can, again you can choose which which ones you want to be in that actual groups group grouping um, and you can also choose outside of the group grouping itself so <coughs> which means you've got a bigger wider scope to actually create your groupings and when those are finished um, you can just simply store them up as normal um, and and just use them again they will they will stay providing fittings are on they will come back as fittings and saved up as those so that is the actual groupings it may not look much but it took a lot of work to actually do that and we hope you enjoy using